so you're thinking about buying a home and not really sure how the whole process works in california well i'm ryan blanco a realtor here in san diego just want to take a few minutes to uh, kind of go over briefly how the process works step by step well first step is to get a pre-approval letter from a lender and when, when you do that you're basically telling uh, other realtors and sellers that uh, you are pre-qualified to buy a home you're financially uh, sound as far as uh, being able to afford the home pre-approval letter is basically going to give you a top sales figure as far as uh, how much house you can afford so that's a very critical step I'll also go through that a little bit more in another video. So uh, once you have that pre-approval letter in hand, you're good to go as far as to uh, look at homes. You're probably gonna start on the internet, um, poking around, kind of getting the idea of what sort of neighborhoods you want, uh, beds, baths, size of house, uh, um, yard, uh, any sort of amenities that might go with the house. Uh, definitely suggest driving by some, some houses, especially if you're not really familiar with the neighborhoods that you're looking to move into. Uh, that would give you a better feel uh, for you know, what sort of schools are in the area as well, uh, shopping, freeway access, and that sort of thing. So uh, at that point, if you're ready to start looking at the inside of homes, you will need a real estate agent to do that. Um, you can really only get into properties that are holding open houses. A uh, real estate agent is free, um, you know, so it's basically free to have a professional realtor represent you as a buyer and look out for you in your best interests. So uh, assuming you found some properties you want, want you are ready to put in offers. Uh, if you find five properties that you like, you can put in five offers. Uh, there's really no limit to the amount of offers you can put in, but when it comes to a seller accepting your offer and going into escrow, you really can only do that with one property at a time. All right, so assuming your offer got accepted by a seller, uh, escrow will be opened. Now, from the date of acceptance, you have three days to get your earnest money deposit into escrow. Uh, they have a, a trust account that they put the money into. And that, that's basically telling the seller that you're serious about buying the home because they are gonna take the home off the market uh, when they accept your offer and go into escrow. Also from the date of acceptance is a 17 day contingency period. 17 days is customary in California, but it is negotiable between buyer and seller as well. Assuming it is 17 days, uh, you're gonna get a series of reports and uh, do some inspections uh, to learn more about the home and decide if it's really a home for you. One of the most important uh, reports, in, in my opinion, is the home inspection report. Normally it is paid by the seller, it's about $400, but a home inspector is gonna tell you um, any sort of issues uh, that might arise with the house, whether it's major, minor, um, safety issues, that, that sort of thing. So it's really gonna give you a, a really good idea of what sort of condition the house is in. And in some cases, uh, it might be where you don't wanna buy the house anymore if there are some major issues with the home. So, uh, assuming everything is okay though, uh, the 17-day uh, contingency period is nearing, it's time for you to release your contingencies. Once you release your contingencies, that's when your earnest money deposit is at risk of losing, if you should back out of buying the house after releasing your contingencies. So, the contingency, contingency release period is uh, a pretty critical time point uh, during the home buying process. So uh, assuming you release contingencies, it's kind of a waiting game at that point. Normal escrow period is 30 days here in California, but uh, again, that's uh, negotiable as well between buyer and seller. Uh, but a few days before the close of escrow, uh, you're gonna have to uh, wire your funds to, uh, to escrow, and that's your deposit funds. If you're a 20% down loan, that's the 20% that you need to wire into escrow a few days before close of escrow. Uh, you're gonna sign your loan documents with your lender, wait for the loan to fund, the county is gonna record the house into your name and congratulations, you are now a homeowner. You're gonna get your keys from your realtor. Don't forget, uh, make sure you change the utilities over into your name or you're gonna be uh, moving into a dark uh, house with no water, et cetera. So um, hope, hopefully that answers some of your questions as far as the home buying process and how it worked. If you need me to go into detail with anything else, feel free to contact me, I'd love to help. Once again, I'm Ryan Blanco and thanks for watching.